Hi, I'm going to put up um, a list of supplies that you're going to need today if you would like to gather all of those things. Um, I do have a quick question though. Do you guys have rubber bands in your pack of supplies? You do? Okay. Then I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see. I have to go close some windows because it's about to rain where I'm at, but once I get back, we're going to start, okay? Okay, we're gonna get started. So today um, we're talking about catapults. Okay, um, we're going to build the catapult that you see on your screen later. Um, but to start, we're gonna talk about some important um, scientific engineering type terms that are going to be important to understand the science behind our catapult. So one second, okay. So we are going to talk about potential and kinetic energy. They are two types of energy that an object might have um, that play an important role in a catapult. I also have pictured here for you a roller coaster, which a lot of teachers and scientists and people talk about roller coasters when they talk about potential and kinetic energy. And then we have, of course, a catapult here, which we will be building today. So the first term we're going to learn about is potential energy. Okay, does anybody have any idea what potential energy is? Do they have an idea of what that means? Something that's not moving. Something that's not moving? Yeah, like this rock right here. Yep. So potential energy is stored energy that hasn't been used yet. So it's there waiting to get used. Like a rubber band. So if you guys have a rubber band near you, you can pull it out and stretch it. When a rubber band is being stretched, it, is, it has potential energy. Or when you are riding on a roller coaster and you're sitting at the very top of your hill, Right before you drop, you have potential energy. I also have a question though for you guys. Who has access to the slideshow right now and is drawing pictures on it? Do not do that. It's distracting and inappropriate, okay? Okay, anyway, we have our rubber band, right? That's potential energy. And when we talk about something sitting at the top of a hill, or something that's up in the air, this cup has a lot of potential energy because it could potentially fall. The higher something is, the more potential energy it has. 
Okay. So then I have this picture for you that you can see. This car right here, if, if, if it was on a roller coaster, the one at the top of the hill, has potential energy. When it falls down the hill, it has what we're going to call kinetic energy. So let's move on to that. So kinetic energy. Yep, good job. I see you dropping your cup. Kinetic means movement. So kinetic energy is the energy of an object in motion. Okay, so when your cup is falling, that's potential energy or kinetic energy, sorry. And when you grab your rubber band, you pull it back and then you fling it, that is kinetic energy. When it's flying through the air, it's using its kinetic energy. So again, kinetic energy is energy in motion. So when something is moving. Um, to demonstrate that, I have this little picture right here, okay? This skier at the top of the hill has potential energy. And when he skis down the hill, like this guy right here, he is using kinetic energy. And then when he hits the bottom, all of his energy has been used. He doesn't have potential or kinetic energy and he's just resting. Okay, so now we're going to make our catapult. I have one here for you to show you. Um, do you guys have all your things gathered? Give me a thumbs up if you do. I know if you guys do. Paige, do you have all your things as well? Yep, okay. So I'm going to stop sharing. Um, all right, and if you would go to um, speaker view and pin this video, I can, so you guys can see me, I'm gonna make it right now, all right? So this is the one that I've already made. Okay, it's a triangular pyramid, okay, made with skewers or sticks and rubber bands. And then I have my little cup, a little plastic cup here. This is actually a K cup, like coffee cup, that I took the top off of and pulled everything out of and then washed. You're going to need rubber bands, scissors, and a hole punch. If you don't have a hole punch, you can just use the scissors to poke a hole in the side of your cup as well. All right, we're going to start with two of your skewers, two of your sticks, okay? You're going to take them and put them kind of crossed like this and wrap a rubber band around the end of it. So see how I do it? I'm going to cross my, my sticks and then I'm going to put my rubber band around it so that it looks like this. Yep, when you're done with that step, you can show me. All right, good job. So when you're done doing that, you have your little angle like this. You're going to pick one side and you're gonna do the same thing with a third. So I now have three, I'm gonna cross this top one and wrap another rubber band around it. What are we supposed to do with this, with the third one? So, so we, we take these two, grab one end, 
See how these two are secure? I'm gonna grab one end like this. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take a third skewer or a third stick, cross it, and do the same thing that I did with the other one. So so it looks like a triangle? Yeah, we're making a triangle. Okay, I can do that. See, it's gonna look like this for a little bit before we secure this end. But we're going to so we have secure, secured this one with a rubber band and then this one with a rubber band. Like this? Yeah, good job. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, and now you're going to complete your triangle. You're going to take these two that haven't been secured yet and secure them to each other. So that you make a triangle like this. See how there's a little bit of overlap on each side? All right, give me a thumbs up when you're done with that step. Very good. All right, for this next part, you're going to need three more to complete our triangular pyramid. What I want you to do, this next part, I want you to pull these two ends apart like this. Do you see how that makes a little hole right there? You're gonna pull it apart and stick one end through that. So I pull it apart and stick it through like that. And then you're going to have three in one end. And you're going to do that to all three sides, okay? So that you have three more skewers in each one. Pull it apart. Um, I don't really get how you're doing it. Do you see how I have these two ends like this? Yeah. So when I pull it apart, there's a little gap. I'm going to stick my third one through that hole. Um, I need to open this. Like that? Yeah, I need to do it. Can you hold it up closer? Here, I'm going to make your big your screen big on my end so I can see it. Kind of. Oh, you want to switch it so that it's facing the center. Oh, okay. oh, I can do it okay. again, but have them like stick it in from the center point, if that makes sense. I'm trying to get a triangle to go up like this, like a teepee now. Yeah, yeah, like a pyramid or a teepee. Yes. You got the right idea, though. You just stuck your stick in the wrong way. You're very close. So, yeah, yeah, like uh, that. Yeah. And then flat right now? It'll be flat right now, and then we'll make it 3D in a second. Look, Good job. Yep. Like that. No, like that. Flat. Just have it flat now. Go down the middle. Um, there, right here. So stick it, stick it out. Oh, okay, here we go. Kind of. Get that back on there. Right. Yep. Do they all go to the middle? Yep, they'll all go to the middle. 
Okay, so Meadow, you just go like this and put this one down the middle of these two. How are you doing, Paige? Good? Okay. Yes, just leave them. Like that? Like this? Get closer to the camera. Yes, yeah. that looks good. Yep. No. Okay. So do you want this one? Mine kind of looks like this right now. I'm not using popsicle sticks, so mine looks a little different, but they're all facing the middle. See? Kind of. So once you have a stick on each corner, you're going to pull them together so that they're up above your base so that they make a 3D triangle like this, a pyramid, triangular pyramid. Wait, do we put the two at the corners or yeah, all three of them? Okay. okay, put it there. You just three, hun. So how many? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, and then you join those at the top. I don't get it. This is confusing. Here, let me see. I'm going to pin your video again so I can watch and help you out as much as I can, okay? Yep, do you okay. take the, th the ones that are pointing in, push them up so that they pop off. See how mine are now up at the top like this? Up. Well, the band? Like that? Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, like you, that. And then rubber band it? Yep, and then you rubber band it at the top. See how mine is? I have a rubber band on mine. Good job, Paige. I see yours. So once we have our triangular pyramid like this, we're gonna move on to the next step. So you can set this aside for just a second. We're gonna work with our scissors. Okay, bye AJ. Um, we're gonna work with our three more rubber bands, our scissors, our cup, in our hole punch. So the first thing I want you to do is take your little cup like this, whatever cup they give you, and you're going to punch three holes in it, okay? So I put my first hole here, and now I'm going to twist it just a little bit and put my third one here not completely on the opposite side of the cup, kind of an angle. you can see mine, hun, but I have, if, pretend it's like a face, you want to make the holes like this. So two here and then one here. My face was a cup. Does that make sense? Like if I'm holding it like this, I have a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. Yeah, good job. The next one is going to be about where your thumb is. Yep, that's right. I'm going to go to the gallery. All right. And now you're going to take, once you have your hole punched, hole punches, you're going to take your rubber bands 
and you're going to cut them so that they're long strings instead of loops. And then if you're done with that part, you're going to take your rubber bands and you're going to tie them through the holes of your cup. Do we tie them in bows or do we tie them like this cloth? I gave it a double knot. So you tie it in one knot and then you tie it in another knot. So once you're done, you should have your three strings hanging on your cup like this. Okay. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to move on to the next step. So when you have all of your rubber bands attached to your cup. Paige, you ready? Okay.
I'm a little bit behind. Is it okay if, like, I don't finish it, like, right now and, like, a little later I can go on your website and watch the video? Mm -hmm. Um, just the, the only next step stage is just to tuck stage page is to tie all the, um, strings to the corners like this. Okay. So that it looks like this. And then okay. you'll be done. Okay. Yep. How's it going over there, guys? Figuring it out? Yeah? yeah. Kind of. Okay. We're working yeah, really hard. Probably, Keep it up. Yeah. yeah Very nice. Uh, flat was hard to get to a point. Yeah. Okay. I know. I feel like the cup is pretty big for those popsicle sticks, huh? We found Dixie cups, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, smaller Dixie cups. Oh, yeah. These are really small. These are really big. Okay. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but. But I don't know. These are really big. So. Could we begin tying these to the corners? Yeah, if you would like to start, you oh, can start tying all of them. Oh, the, the corners the, of them look like this. Even big corners. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. no! I'm so excited. Hold on, Ronnie. You're my youngest. Dang it, I can't tie it because the top is too I know the, uh... Maybe I can make it. Maybe if I can make it, I can tie it. All right. And then once you're done tying it, it should look like this. So if you guys want to just pause for a second, I'm going to show you how it works. Um, just because I don't have very much time until this meeting ends on my end. Um, so I'm going to, if you want to put my picture back nice and big, you can. Um, so this is our final structure. Okay. And I'm going to show you how potential and kinetic energy works on this. So when I pull this cup back, the further back I pull it, the more potential energy it has. And then when I release it, it moves. So it has kinetic energy. Now we can put something inside. I have one of these little clips. Whoop. When I pull this back, it has potential energy. And then when I shoot it, it moves. So this potential energy, and then when it shoots out, kinetic energy. Yeah? That's what makes it go flying. Yeah? You guys get it? Thumbs up? Very, very cool. How close are you guys to finishing your catapults? I'm done. I finished. Hey, you finished? I 
Yeah, you guys will look close. You're getting closer. Yep. Oh, I just finished mine. You just finished yours, Paige. Paige, do you want to demonstrate? Do you want to try and launch something? Okay. Let me pick this. Um. Let me go find something quick. Okay, real quick. Then are, how close are you guys to finishing? Do you want to try and demonstrate launching something? I have about five minutes until I finish. Okay. Well, we'll let Paige demonstrate and then I want to see your guys. Okay. Okay, Paige, you want to launch yours? I just did. Oh, can you do it again? Sorry, your yeah. screen was small. I want to make sure that we get a good picture of it. Hey, a clip, very nice. I went over there. Very cool, good job. All right, Let's see what you guys have. Very nice. Good job. Uh, my, my kind of looks like a bun. A dome? And pull it out in front of the camera. Very cool. Pull it back. Right there. Oh, it's not cool. There you go. Can you guys go there? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, mom. <laughs> I didn't cut my, my, my mom let me launch, but you can try to go through. But we could fly, but I don't think it works. Yeah, the Dixie cut was even better. Why? Why? Catapult with me. I had a lot of fun. Was, uh, Goodbye. Have a good day. Happy Fourth of July. Yes. Happy Fourth of July, Paige. Bye. Bye. You guys see ya. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, guys. Have a good weekend. Oh, oh bye. Bye. With me. Happy Fourth of July. You too. Bye. You're welcome.